lately, every time I've been going to sleep, I've been just having the wildest dreams. Like what if I was driving around the city and all of a sudden the cops came out of nowhere and arrested me and sent me to jail? Oh God, this feels so real. Why do I dream about stuff like this? This is jail jail Wake up Anso Wake up Who is that Kodak? Yo we gotta find a way to escape Why am I dreaming about this right now? Let's at least get a workout in though You know we gotta stay fit Man I'm not gonna lie This basketball court is a bit crusty Here goes Kodak again Is he following me? Oh lord Oh I'm dead Lord, take me now! Oh god, he's coming after me. Wake up, Toe! Wake up! Ah, uh, finally, I woke up. See what I'm saying? Like, lately, I've been just having the wildest dreams. Like, what if I went to jail? Or, what if I played in the NBA? Sometimes I even think back to my college days. What if instead of committing to the University of Oregon, I decided to go to Clemson? Yo, look at this dream right here. It feels too real. I'm telling you, man, sometimes before I go to sleep, I always think about the decisions that I made. And one of the biggest ones is obviously where I went to college. And sometimes I think back, if I went to Clemson, would things would have been different? Obviously, had I committed there, I would have been in the 2019 college championship game against Alabama right here picking off Tua Honestly, hopefully I keep on sleeping because this dream right here is a good one It's better than getting arrested and going to jail and getting beat up Lawrence right here tosses it to Ethan this team is stacked guys by the way if you have been enjoying this series be sure to slap that thumbs up button let's try to get 5,000 likes for the next episode what a dot by Tua man it's gonna be a high Scoring game, Trevor Lawrence scrambles out and look at the Alabama defense falling asleep. So as you guys see, we are in the second half in my dream and my ankles, Lord have mercy. Just like that, Alabama tied things up. Just like that. Alabama ties things up. This man, Trevor Lawrence, I'm telling you, he's about to be a baller when he makes it to the NFL. Look at that beautiful throw. Moments later, that boy, Ethan, once again muscles his way in for the touchdown. what Alabama's about to do here. That's who I have it in on. Not gonna lie. He was making some incredible throws on this drive. Except this play right here. First and ten. Tua, give me that. I appreciate the souvenir. 
I really do. As you see right here in my dream, in the 2019 National Championship game with Clemson, we were able to walk away victorious. But then that's when I woke up. Yo, what is good, Boss Nation? Welcome back to Madden 19 Career Mode. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. As you guys saw, my dreams have been getting out of hand. I mean, I'm dreaming about going to prison. I'm dreaming about playing in the NBA, playing for the Clemson Tigers. But just to show you guys the NFC East standings, we do have a 4-1 record. We're taking on the New York Giants here in week number six. And Eli Manning, six weeks in. I mean, those are not the stats you want to see. Five touchdowns, three interceptions. I'm pretty sure Saquon and Odell are getting a bit frustrated. 402 yards, four touchdowns for Barkley himself. And as you guys see, Odell's not putting up the numbers that we expect. Six weeks in and he only has one touchdown? That's crazy. Guys, we are jumping into week number six, taking on the New York Giants who have been just struggling. And I do think, you know, it is time for them to move on. I believe they should go for a quarterback this draft. And no disrespect to Eli, bruh. The dude is a Hall of Famer. He beat Tom Brady twice in the Super Bowl in an incredible fashion. So I don't like... Enjoy seeing Eli Manning slander, but at the same time, it's time. It's time to move on. As you guys see, they're up seven to nothing. Speaking of the boy, Eli, what are you doing? Pick six to start things off. This is not a dream. This is actually for real. We had a pick six earlier. Here's their second drive. One on one coverage with Odell and this man, Eli. Yo, can I play him every single week? And just to show you guys the difficulty, like, I'm not playing on pro, I'm not playing on rookie. Guys, like, I do have it on all Madden. Here, I'll show you guys. I'll show you just to prove it. Because I do want this series to be somewhat realistic and maybe. I should do a better job of like not baiting the quarterback because I do see some comments of people saying stop baiting the quarterback. I guess I have to find like the right balance. But look at this. Eli throws yet another pick my way. My second pick six of the first half. The record is five, right? Five interceptions. Well, I got three so far. The score is 21 to 14. The ball gets tipped. And Eli throws like, what, his fourth interception? Yo, this is unreal. We were able to score yet another touchdown. So now it's 28 to 14 with 30 seconds remaining. Eli. Oh my! Odell had me beat on that play, bro. And I was expecting this. As he gets his second touchdown of the year, we move forward. They got the ball back. And look at this. They score again. Yo, I did everything I could on that play. So just like that, the game is tied up. We take over, as you see right here, on third and one. Negative two yards by Darren Sproles, so we do have to settle for a field goal. And now it all comes down to the defense. And it's crazy to think Eli has stolen like four to five picks, and they're still in it. Four touchdowns, four interceptions for Eli Manning. And out of four of them, I have three. Make that four for me. And I've officially an NFL record for the most interceptions in a game
One touchdown is all we need. And that is exactly what we got out of our offense. And guys, just like that, this insane Thursday night game has come to an end. And like I said, that was not a dream. This man, Eli Manning, really threw like five interceptions. Or was it six? No, he threw six interceptions. Can you imagine if you put up a stat line like that? Like, you would have to get benched, right? Man, I do feel bad for Saquon. He only had 13 attempts, 62 yards. Like, they got to go to him way more often. But, hey, man, as far as playing a video game, it was fun to go up against the Giants. As you see, Benny Fowler had 126 yards, two touchdowns. Oda had a pretty good game as well. Yo, look at my stats. That's crazy. Like, we really just had... Four interceptions in one game. As I got back to the main menu, you guys do see I do have one skill point to use. And I use it on my zone attributes. Just like that, we are now 88 overall. It's still a young season. But, man, you have to feel bad for Eli Manning. We're going to monitor the Giants season for sure. We'll see how things end up for them. We still got to play them one more time. So, hopefully, Eli's still the quarterback. But, Boss Nation, man, I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I just want to say thank you so much for all the support. Continue being amazing people. I am signing out.